Domestic violence is currently on the forefront of people's minds. It may happen behind closed doors, but the community can actually give itself more credit than you may think. Arielle Harrison for Idaho's First News takes a look at domestic violence in the Magic Valley. It's a common denominator, and it's not pretty. Cell phones and emails were all controlled. A lot of times he'd control everything I did. It's more about power and control. Domestic violence, a scary pattern of behavior that has already silenced too many. And it's more than just the physical abuse. It involves emotional, financial, and spiritual abuse as well. Just in Idaho alone, 5,669 cases of domestic violence were reported last year. It's as big of a problem in the Magic Valley as it is nationwide. I don't think we're any different. Um, you know, we have a lot of cases that go unreported, but we're responding to several cases a day. So it's definitely an issue that we have here. Studies show that here in the United States, one in three women will be domestically abused at some point in their life. When a woman tries to leave, the threat, the lethality uh, level goes up uh, to about 75 percent. So that's when we see homicides in domestic violence cases. Lori Stewart is a victim's witness coordinator here in the Magic Valley and works with domestic violence cases every single day. Stewart says the community seems to be aware, but more of the problem stands in women and men getting the resources they need to get out of the situation and stay out of it. So what keeps victims of abuse in a situation? Why don't they just leave? Women don't leave because they're afraid. I would say get help, no matter what. I don't. He can threaten all he wants, that he's going to hurt you, he's going to kill you, whatever. There is safe avenues out there to help you. In Twin Falls, Ariel Harrison, Idaho's First News. Now, Stewart says the local crisis center is a great resource for both men and women who may find themselves in abusive relationships. There are also resources through law enforcement, which include counselors, civil protection orders, and different agencies that can help with financial assistance.